Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. This is one of the three spawners that I can activate in one location. And I am working on how I can do the best farm possible here. And that is what today's episode is going to be. I have dug this big old hole here. So when these guys spawn, the little buggers do that. And squish. And I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to build the same holes over here. This is where they fall. And obviously there's going to be holes on the other side. See some string. Um, and it's not activated when I'm down here, so it's safe. I don't know if I'm going to put uh, hoppers down here. And have them all go to a certain chest in the center. But that's a ton of hoppers because this is 9x9. Nine nine, so that means there's 81 hoppers per hole. So 3 holes. So that's like... It's... 5.30 in the morning, so I shouldn't be able to do math, but I think 243, and um, so that is a ton of hoppers, that's over a thousand pieces of iron, and I don't know if I want to do that, and so I was thinking some way of doing a water thing, but that's not going to kill the bugs, and I don't want the bugs to stay alive, so I might do a real cart system underneath this. So when they fall down, real carts will be going back and forth, sucking up the string, and unloading them into a chest. But I've never done a system like that. Um, but I think I'm going to learn how and show you guys how to do it. we got the three spawners going. And um, things fall down to their death. And it's pretty awesome. I've created the big holes. And yes, I did have my first death. Because... If I'm going to die, it's always going to be to um, fall damage. So I did die my first death on the server. But this is done. And you see, there's nothing up there to cause that lightning glitch. Um, I've tried to fix it numerous times. Maybe I can have Hal do it. Hal runs the server. So, um, yeah, the, the wool factory, the workers have been completed. And now I just need to get a whole bunch of wool and start working on a spawn house. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here and make a bunch of wool, somehow make an AFK room around here so I know everything's good I want yeah you see how that spider spawned in the light so there's no problem there for sure it's just it looks like there's light but there really isn't so I'm gonna stay here and um, get some wool and I'll be back. I've uh, changed the entrance to the new spider cave it was over here somewhere um, but now I have the ladder drop going right into the AFK area for the three spawners. So I just come down this ladder, open the door. That was to try and keep light out, but uh, light still emits from down here. So the minecart's going underneath all that area, picking up all the string and stuff. So I can stay up there AFK for more than five minutes and not have to worry about the stuff despawning. And when it comes back, it gets stopped. If there's anything inside the minecart, it drops it into the hopper minecart. That's what these are, hopper minecarts. It unloads it, and then it goes out again and collects up more stuff. So it's pretty easy to make this. Um, so you have the harp hopper where you want it to unload. You put a comparator there. Just a uh, torch, then two pieces of redstone coming back to this block, which will power this. So when there's something in there, it depowers and it will unload. And once every, the hopper minecart is empty, it will go on its merry way again. And I uh, proved this with the server owner um, because initially I was going to put hoppers underneath all of this and bring it all in, which would have been. 200 something hoppers and that is just like lag central but I told him I would put an on off switch he doesn't I don't think he minds that this thing runs all the time 
uh, but I'm afraid if I leave this running and I run away from here long enough that the uh, trunk will despawn and the cart will get stuck out in the middle of there and I don't want to have to deal with the cart getting stuck out there so from this hopper where it gets sucked into there's a line of hoppers that go into this chest and also uh, this hopper goes right into this chest I'm just gonna steal these two pieces of redstone which will make it so when they come back to their home place they won't leave again I'm gonna uh, set this up so I I'll probably hit a switch up top so I'm thinking maybe replacing these two blocks with a um, redstone block and a piston underneath so when I hit the lever up top see now they're back home uh, when I hit the lever on top it turns those things on so when the spiders stop start uh, spawning and stuff I can go collect the stuff um, so I guess it's all set and ready to go very happy about that I'm collecting some wool uh, because I am going to be making a shop in town so that is the next part of this video so let's go to town and make a shop I am at spawn on the serenity server and I've been given this location where I am allowed to build isn't that awesome so this is where my wool shop is gonna be going um, I initially was gonna put it up here as you see I was building it up front um, but it was too close to this road so I shoved it back a little bit so what I'm gonna do is build up these corners up to eight high two three four five six seven eight I hope I have enough of this two three four five six seven eight so basically what I'm doing is building a sheep's head oh my cat doesn't like sheep's head hold on well okay I guess he's done saying his bit um so that is what I'm trying to do here I'm not really a fan of doing pixel art per se um, but for a wool shop come on you have to do a sheep's head so that's what I'm doing so we have the smooth um, sandstone that I am gonna do for the darker areas of the sheep we're gonna place a black one for the eyes white white and a couple of these we're just going across the whole bottom of these and it would almost work better if I had flesh colored stained clay and maybe I'll take these out at some point when I do get some but right now I don't yeah so that's not right let's see how this looks in a second and I guess the entrance will be here and does that look derpy well <laughs> this whole building thing is derpy well there's my shop facade um, I'm thinking of possibly making one in the back here also a face so there'll be a face on each side I might do it for all sides to tell you the truth but that is neither here or there I'm gonna work on this a little bit and be back oh snap look at this I um have kind of finished the outside of the building a little bit I decided to make it a four-faced building I've changed some of the blocks up a little bit better um, and working on stuff as you see to make things look a little bit better um, but I think 
basically the outside of the shop is done. Coming soon came a corner wool shop. Excellent. So uh, I'm gonna have a double chest there, a double chest there, double chest there, double chest there. I got some sea lanterns in here just to light it up for now. Thanks for Benny Ben for being awesome and having a guardian farm. Probably my least favorite thing to make in this confounded world. All right, I realized making my wool shop and finding out that one die does not do eight wools, it only does one, I have had to come up with a contingency plan. Um, because I do want a backlog of a double chest of every single color of wool in uh, my inventory for my shop. And I do not want to waste all that lapis. That's basically why I wanted to do this. I don't like wasting lapis. So I said, well, I might as well just make some blue sheep and just get blue wool that way. Then I decided, why don't we do that for all the sheep? So as you see, I do have some sheep here, but let me show you something. Behind this tree, there's a secret little hideout. Uh-huh. This is where I'm gonna bring my sheep. So, um, each one of these pens is going to be a different color, and I don't know how many sheep I'm going to get in there, but I'm going to squeeze as much sheep as I can in here, um, and when I'm running low on a certain color, just shear them up, um, probably stick a ender chest in here for, so I can, you know, throw it in the ender chest and go to the wool shop and just pull it out of the ender chest that they plan on having there. But this is the secret little sheep place. I don't want people to know that it's going to be this easy for me to get the wool. But the hard thing will be getting these little sheepies. Yes, these little sheepies down here. I was thinking maybe I should just cut underneath the pen and just let them all fall in. And I might do that. I don't know how many. <laughs> right on the fence. Woohoo. I'm also going to make one of those nano farms down here where the lack of light updates the block and makes the uh, thing fall off so I can have wheat pretty easily accessed down here. I made a tutorial on that farm that S Impulse SV made. Alright, I am back and I have done, as you can hear from all the, uh, I have a bunch of sheep around. Let me show you what I've done. Lots of sheep. Lots of sheared sheep too. As you see, um, I've labeled all the all the colors. So uh, when I need to get the right colors for things, um, I can get them fairly quickly. And I also made this farm, which has been very good in helping me populate the sheep. And eventually I am going to fix roof and walls to be rainbowed for the colors in the rows. So I don't know if this will make sense at all, but in this row, you know, I'll have white, then I'll have a brown row, then the next one is lime green, then light blue, and over here I'll have the white, then uh, the gray, and basically follow along with what's in each row and kind of stripe up the wall. It will be a little hard on the eyes, but, um, and not something I would normally do, but it serves a purpose for this building. And I'm thinking of maybe marrying, <laughs> marrying, mirroring, mirror, mirroring the colors of the sheep on this, the ceiling. The mirroring would be like, uh, above this would be light gray, and above here it would be white, and so forth. So, I don't know. It might work, it may not. So, um, I do have some stuff I want to bring with me. Which, uh, there, that's why I forgot it last time. Okay. One pink wool, I got the things. I need some wood, and I'm gonna go to uh, spawn. All right, I am back at the wool shop, and I'm replacing some of this uh, roof 
with some blue glass just because it's nice to be able to see the sky and get the natural light into the building a little bit so let's see how this looks it's a little, it looks off center because of this side but what are you gonna do um, I may put a K or something over here I don't know and I'm gonna get rid of this other entrance I've decided I don't like it because this <laughs> this little walkway it looked like um, a tongue sticking out and that wasn't what I was looking to do with it so I'm just gonna close it off um, for right now maybe stick a couple of sea lanterns down there yeah why not um, kinda making this on the fly right now yeah there we go <clears throat> fill up the chest make a sign and open the car wash oh wait working at the wool shop no I guess it doesn't work as well as the car wash oh I got some filling up to do man and well, ah, I left everything over there hold on and I'll work some more and I'll show you the f almost finished product all right guys um I've put a few chests in here um, white wool is available in chests below no price donate please donate to chests on side and over here it says donation chests if you use wool donations will help me basically and over here wools of color these take extra time which if you want this chest full of wool please donate basically what I'm stating is if people are using this and uh, they're donating and um, I have the motivation to continue doing this because of the donations um, I will keep this chest filled and I'll do this off camera um, but I'll bring the extra colored wool maybe I'll just fill this thing up now that I've kinda got it empty uh, I don't have one of these at my house Oh, <laughs> uh, but anyways um I will keep this full I will get this filled before the end of today and I'll to let people know that the wool shop is open and that it's for donations only I'm not gonna charge anything um, the wool shop is now open please come take the wool it's free but please donate if you have a heart because uh, getting the wool is a pain in the butt and I do want to keep the server full of colors and uh, the more donations I get the more motivation I will have to keep these chests full so next week we're gonna probably finish my pagoda and start working on a nether rail towards my place maybe do some resource gathering and get back on track to my initial serene chill videos that I planned on doing on here but got so disturbed by the 10 or so plus spider spawners which even though I thought I had found them all I found another one caving for diamonds yeah so there's plenty of spider spawners over there plenty of wool to get and I will do my best to keep these full until next week have a great day.